Welcome back everyone to Rob's Realism Mod. My name is Deplex. You were probably thinking, oh hey, Natuna is back. Nope, sorry, it's not. This is World War II, a uh, battle that is based on a historical event, uh, the Japanese invasion of French Indochina in um, September 1940. I don't know how long the invasion or the, the, the fighting lasted there, but hundreds of soldiers were killed on both sides, at least 800 French. So um, I'm sure um, perhaps not a similar number of Japanese died due to their sort of like overwhelming strength and fighting ability at the time, but uh, who knows? Uh, I'm sure they will lose plenty in this uh, uh, city siege. Um, it's not only a city siege, you know, because a city is surrounded and there's artillery and things. There's actually like a fort here. This is the Hanoi Citadel. Uh, so it's based off of the historical um, uh, look of it at the time, I suppose. Uh, Geo Blake has made this map and it was actually made for the Natuna series, but we'll get to that later. So he has done some research on the, the Hanoi uh, city plan at the time. And it's, it's awesome. But there's also ladders. So it's like a it's a real siege, guys. There's, we don't have battering rams or, or siege towers, but people will be climbing these ladders. It's so cool. I like it. I, I really love it. Um, uh, it's a beautiful map. All of these buildings, I'm like, oh, wow, where do you find these? That They look like they come straight out of like Vietnam. He made them. This is the reason why this map might get a little tiny bit laggy at times. There's over 20,000 objects. A map of this size, and I'm showing you the entirety of it right now, I think this is about like, what, 250 by 250, maybe 300 by 300 at most. Not entirely sure, but something around those lines. Uh, usually average like, what, five, six thousand, maybe 10 if it's got really nice detail, but like the amount of objects required to make these handmade buildings is just overwhelming. All of these like different colored walls are like individual pieces, and he's pieced them all together. I especially like this like rooftop terrace up here. This is just so cool. Look at this, this facade here. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, the Japanese are attacking. Um, I don't think there were any like major combat. Uh, I didn't read anything about Hanoi being a battleground uh, during this invasion. I read some about there being like uh, a lot of artillery barrages, like like uh, uh, French artillery guns firing at uh, the invading uh, fleet, perhaps also army as it landed. But I haven't read in, I haven't read too much about the invasion. Also, there were a lot of I think Germans and like Austrians in the. Um, second battalion of some French Foreign Legion regiment that was uh, located in French Indochina at the time. Unfortunately, they didn't get to fighting. And I think historically, it was the only time the French Foreign Legion surrendered without fighting. Uh, they were all like hassled and, you know, told to join the Japanese since they were men from Axis countries at the time. Every one of them said no. That is what I call true allegiance to the, the Brotherhood, true allegiance to the French Foreign Family. That's something cool. That is something truly cool. But anyway, let's get to the battle. If this was an entirely historically correct battle, um, the Japanese would have attacked from the east or southeast, uh, which would be from the top of the screen, uh, especially since the citadel behind us is in the northwest. This would be the opposite, which would be southeast. Right. Uh, there might be a tiny bit of lag as there's going to be some uh, artillery uh, early on. Um, it's going to target the French positions here by the train station. Um, this is obviously uh, uh, an area the Japanese have scouted out ahead of time, so that is where they've uh, targeted their barrage. And it's to make way and sort of soften them up a little bit before the, the, the main infantry assault. But there's also units heading in uh, from the, the outskirts of the city, so they're going to be arriving to the city early on in small squads with some light armor support. It's going to be a pretty long battle. I think it's going to be extremely bloody, and it's hopefully going to end with Japanese troops climbing that wall to reach a historical outcome. If not, well, then the French have absolutely outdone themselves with light howitzers, uh, somewhat outdated rifles, I suppose, uh, at least the ones here. Um, I'm not sure the Japanese were using a much newer rifle. I think the Aris Ariska. It's not the Arizaka, is it? It's the Ariska, yeah. But um, sure, that could be about as old as well. Sometimes... Frickin' they used rifles literally from like the end of the 1800s. The K98 was from 1998, 
Hmm. Not entirely. So they were in service till 35, that makes sense. Right, anyway, let's unpause and get the battle started. So we'll keep the camera here for a minute, just to get a good overview of the battle. You can tell there's Japanese troops coming in from the top left of the screen. And that artillery barrage is going to start as well. That was a pretty nasty hit. Right in that trench. And there's a good example of how the the, the train carts kind of uh, lag the game down a bit. There's a lot of detail in physics, I suppose, occurring at the same time when they all get destroyed. So that's just why. Uh, we'll simply have to hope that the artillery misses all the train carts and hits infantry instead, or at least for the sake of the Japanese. But so far, so good. The two front trenches are okay so far. Uh, both light howitzers behind the left and rear trench are okay. So far, the uh, a lot of French soldiers died in the rear trench due to a direct hit inside the actual trench. Okay, that seems to be the end of the barrage, and infantry will now be sort of storming in from the top of the screen, supported by armor. We have one tank rolling down to the, the center and to the front of the train station. So it's going to sort of start fairly slowly. So far the Japanese are holding this side of the street quite nicely. There's a lot of Japanese troops on the opposite side. They're taking it slow. Many have been gunned down here on the sidewalk. Probably the cause of a uh, well-entrenched French machine gun somewhere. So that's nice. More tanks are arriving. Ahead of the attack here by the, uh, the, the train yard. So, as I mentioned before, both French howitzers are functioning. That might turn out to be uh, a rather large disadvantage for the, the Japanese. I think they had hoped that their uh, beginning barrage would have destroyed more French assets. But so far, it's only really killed infantry in the rear trench, which is currently the least of their troubles right now. Especially since uh, Japanese infantry is having a hard time getting a foothold here on the map because of all the, the surviving infantry in the front trenches. Now that was a rather disastrous shot. It took out the tank, but it, I think it killed a few French soldiers, at least knocked a few down. That one was forced to leave the trench, which resulted in, in him being shot dead outside of it. So stay in the trench, guys, for your own safety. Another tank has made it in. Oh, uh, there's a, an exchange of fire now between the artillery and the tank. Oh. That round is going to miss and kill a few French soldiers instead, but uh, ultimately that tank is going to go down. So what are we looking at right now? Um, a decent trade here of, of uh, French infantry for uh, Japanese tanks, at least for the French. Two, ja uh, Three Japanese tanks, light tanks, might I add, down here early on. And no Japanese infantry has really dared storm this yard yet, which is very uncharacteristic of them. I, I'd expect them to ban side charge the hell out of it, but... Uh, I think they're focusing more on the the quarter, this the uh, close quarter combat here by the buildings. can hear more Japanese light tanks. Another one has arrived to support the infantry.
I really like this urban fighting. It's so cool. Like, you know, building to building, street to street, all these intersections and all the entrenched infantry. And especially troops moving up close to the building facades, like by the on the street sidewalk. I think that's really cool. Just like using what little cover there is outside the buildings instead of just being gummed down in the open, which these guys uh, seem to be right now. They're using bodies as cover. This uh, Japanese machine gunner literally is like... <laughs> has his bipods... Oh, for a second there he had them. Uh, mounted on a, an arm of a, of a fallen comrade. But I suppose you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. In many ways, I suppose you gotta respect a, a, a soldier's body. But also, you gotta, you gotta respect his soul and your own life a lot as well. So... I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't mind if, if I died on the field of battle, if someone used my body as cover, or like, you know, if they set up a cool-ass gun with bipods on my head or something, I would be okay with that. My soul would be fine with that. Well, so this trench is half empty, or if you're a positive thinker, it's half full, which is nice. So I hope the French are optimists. It's a half full trench. And that tank has wandered, but not... It didn't even cross into the train yard. We got infantry here, French infantry, or uh, that too, but mainly Japanese infantry. That is what I was going to say. Who are sort of like by the outskirts here. They haven't really made the decision to charge in yet. We have one brave soldier trying to get as close as possible to the French positions, but he's killed during his own little personal banzai charge. Both French guns are still functioning. That is a major disadvantage for the uh, uh, the Japanese armor. And the infantry is just really not daring to commit here. As I previously said. It's rather em empty. More Japanese artillery now. Oh, you can see parts of the buildings here have collapsed. Oh my god, look at that. Since these buildings are handcrafted, the, the destruction detail is really nice with like individual building pieces. I think that's hella cool. So, so the Japanese have just adjusted their uh, artillery fire to like, they're moving, they're, it's not a creeping barrage per se, but they've moved it up closer to the the rear positions now because uh, they're obviously getting them, themselves closer to the, the front positions. And you don't want to get any blue on blue fire, I suppose. These guys are still alive, I find that remarkable. I'm, before this man dies... I'd want to know how many he has killed here with this machine gun. So we're going to break immersion for just a second. Uh, and we're going to take this guy. Let's guess his name. I'm going to say Jean. Can I just get my bloody hut up? There we go. It's Enrico. I wouldn't... Enrico doesn't sound that French to me. I'm going to be honest. But at least his last name is De Aubigne. De Aubigne. De Aubigne. Enrico De Aubigne. De Aubigne. Aubigne. Oh, damn it. Anyway, 31 kills. Good job, Enrico. Rico. Rico's Roughnecks. <laughs> anyway. Enrico's Roughnecks. Enrico's Roughnecks. Okay. Well, 31 men. I think that is about the total sum of the, the bodies you're looking at there in the center of the screen. More tanks can be heard. The The Japanese are, are sending in a lot of armor. The uh, I think they, they've definitely captured the train station. Looks like we have a senior officer up here as well. Checking out that the gravel on the ground, trying to get a good look. Anyway, there we go. Oh, he's miraculously going to survive a bullet to the spine, but not one to the knee. He took one to the knee, and now he's down. Okay, so this tank has its mind in the right place. Oh, they're communicating in a way. Look at that. They're moving up in a combined attempt here. To, to push back or to push out the uh, the French infantry. But not the machine gunner. No, turn around and run. It's bloody devastating. And... But that might... No! Push it. Push it more. Push it further. You could have almost killed him. You could have, like, achieved a legendary kill by just pushing a friendly destroyed tank onto a machine gunner. Look how bedazzled... Enrico! I like you. 
I'm gonna field promote you to like major general or something. This is this is like this is Rico in Starship Troopers, but in French Indochina during World War Two. So and Rico. I think there's like a, a I don't know. Where should we send this brave man? Where do we need Enrico next? Well, they seem to, to, to need a machine gunner over here. Well, uh, Enrico, we're going to put you back here by the barrels, okay? Actually, Enrico, we're going to get you on the wall. Okay, I'll see you on the wall, all right? Make it back there, and uh, we'll, we'll catch up later, okay? And so we're going to save Enrico. I think that was a, just a fun little thing. And now we can focus on the train yard here. Where there are still two fully functioning light howitzers, thingamajingies. They, they, they were, mind you, that's only one. I, that is the curse of speaking about it or looking at it, and it dies. So I, I should probably stop mentioning unit types or specific soldiers. We should definitely stop talking about Enrico, or he's gonna be hit by some stray bullet further back. So the two tanks are slightly more safe now. We're not as endangered as they were seconds ago when there were two functioning howitzers. And these little guys remind me of the M8. So there's only one crewman remaining here. There are three Japanese tanks moving down. Oh, and they're firing at him. They're, he's returning fire. And there's just now there's actually some, some good numbers of Japanese infantry storming. So now they're making some progress. There we go. They got him off the gun. And that is uh, surviving a uh, total of... Uh, Three surviving tanks. One is a little battle scarred with its destroyed tracks. But look at it like this is awesome. Oh, Banzai! Look at them charging the trench now. Oh, the Japanese infantry is just taking over their positions. Oh, they got back on it. What a nasty, what a nasty thing to do. He got shot, he got blown back, probably lost an eye to like shrapnel, maybe even a limb. Er, not visually, but maybe, you know, physically felt like, hey, this this arm isn't gonna work next next year. And he got back on the gun and kept working, and he destroyed, I think, um, one more tank. Or at least killed some infantry. That was cool. I like your style, man. That was a brave thing. Thingy to do. Thingy majingy. Anyway, okay, so... How are we doing over here in the city center? It's a little calmer, it's a little more quiet. So it seems like the the Japanese were so heavy on infantry here. <laughs> Are they still being? Well, Enrico's not here to put a stop to their assault, but the Japanese has not made like hardly any progress here. Okay, they're sending in another platoon. Banzai, and also another light tank to support. So now that the arm or the infantry can move more freely down the street, as they've finally, miraculously, somehow disposed of the the few Frenchmen who were holding the area. Look, they're trying to cross the street. Oh, they're gonna get shot dead by some French riflemen and machine guns back here. Well, the train station is in the hands of the Japanese after a long and costly fight. The struggle was real, as I cannot wait to look at the Japanese casualties in the area. Now, we saved Enrico, okay? That means something. That means we can tell these tanks to repair. A guy that's killed 31 Japanese soldiers? Yeah, I think, I think it's fair to just tell two of these tanks to repair their tracks. Um, trust me, the Japanese are gonna need it. Just trust me, okay? I'm the fabricator of this madness. I know exactly what but 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 buttons to push. Okay, they're moving up using this fence as cover. Mind you guys, it's not a wall, but it's working out. They can stick their rifles through the the holes in the fence and just fire. We're netting, so to speak. Why do you sound like you come out of a fucking anime, dude? Like, your voice is all distorted, you're screaming, you sound super intense. That could be out of, like, some frickin' anime thing, like Dragon Ball or something. Some dude that's just about to perform some power move. Alright. 
we've got a serious case of some sort of semi-levitation here. Um, strangest things happen in this game, so I'm just going to quickly go ahead and dispose of that. Just as if there were any bodies flying midair or anything else, we would, we would do the same. Alright, but so we're starting to see some French casualties on this side. But it's really empty on the left side here by the, the pond, sort of the, the inner city pond or lake or whatever you want to call it. I'd call it a pond, to be honest. Okay, so the Japanese tanks are starting to be repaired now. They're, they're getting a move on. I don't know why this one stopped repairing, but one of them were, were done repairing and I think they got destroyed up here. So we're going to look back at that tank later on and figure out what went down. Perhaps the tank crewman just got distracted. He ran off somewhere. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try and get another soldier on it. So, there are another two French pieces back there that are causing this destruction. And right now these tanks have little cover or infantry support. I think they're a little overzealous. But you can't blame the Japanese to be overzealous in a, in a situation like this. They're expanding their empire. They are so excited to take this beautiful piece of land. They cannot wait to put their flag on top of that badass looking citadel. You know, I don't blame them. And this tank is just... I think he's going for it. This guy's trying to, trying to get some medals right now. Not with that aim, though. Um... Oh, but that machine gunner might just save the day. Can you... Ooh, can you knock that one last... There's one more soldier on the gun. And I think they got him. Yeah. Well, there's a survivor, but he's not so keen on getting back on the gun. This guy does not pack the same quality uh, of soldiering as his uh, his friend up there on the other piece. He, uh, he stood back up after being hit and finished the job. The job. Very sweet of me. Hello, finished, finished the job. Alright, more tanks are coming down the street. The Japanese are just not giving up. We're gonna try and tally up the total lost light tanks later on. I'm sure we'll be astounded by the numbers. The center quarters have now been cleansed. Uh, somewhat. There's still the... Oh my god. I think that is the third barrage. Yeah, the, 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 the Japanese artillery outside the city uh, is going to continuously try and, and adjust fire. It looks like they've been working on this posi position for a while, though. I can't believe we haven't heard the impacts. Perhaps I've thought it's been something else, but yes, as you can tell, there's a few craters here and a lot of body parts. And a gun, which has been uh, adequately disabled. So look at that. Oh, that is a beautiful view. Look at all the Japanese tanks rolling down the streets now. I love tanks in urban combat. This is a beautiful, this is beautiful scenery right here. This is something we have to just appreciate. The eye, just let it soak, okay? Nice. Okay, so... Enrico! Where's Enrico? Here he is. Nice. Okay, Enrico. Um, let's, let's, uh, let's have you on the wall. Should Enrico fight on the wall, or should he be, like, sent elsewhere? No, I think we'll keep Enrico... We'll keep Enrico on the wall. We can send him here. No. I don't think that quite works. Well, we'll keep Enrico on the wall. We'll, we'll have two machine guns up here, side by side. Alright. Good job. Keep, keep at it, Enrico. I swear Enrico is, a. Uh, more Spanish or South American than it is French, okay? Uh, his last name, De Daubigne or De Aubergine, I thought it was like De Aubergine. I was like, oh, that's nice. You got a fruit as a last name. Or not a fruit, but like a vegetable or whatever. But um, no, it was, it, was, it was definitely not. I would like to be named Simon Zucchini. Can you please call me Simon Zucchini? I love zucchini. It's one of my favorite vegetables. Uh, it's great in various pasta dishes. It's good on the grill or in the pan. It's just got nice texture and flavor. Get some olive oil, uh, you know, rock salt and some, some black pepper. That's that's good. Anyway. Look at the flames. 
So we do have one sneaky little howitzer on top of the wall. It made life annoying for one tank. At least hot. But this second one might have figured out the, the trick. He's going to try and hide behind a smoke pillar. And then he's going to return fire. Will it work? Are you going to fire? Good sir. No, you're not. I saw him aim the gun, though, so he was definitely on his way to do so. Uh, we have another two tanks rolling in. Will it be enough to take out the... Oh, he fired. Did he hit? I don't think so. Look, he's using a, a cart as cover. That is brilliant. I just gotta say, these the Japanese are getting more and more... They're, they're all entrepreneurs, in a way. That was a good hit. I think that could be more adjusted uh, Japanese artillery. That is definitely more adjusted Japanese artillery. He's firing, but they're overshooting. I don't think that howitzer will be doing any overshooting from that high ground. So count your blessings, my friends. That is that looked like a slight shake. Really good suspension though on it, I have to say. But nope. Okay, it's miraculously still alive. Do we have this tank operational? Mm. I thought one of these were, but they now seem to be all destroyed. We might just have to assault the wall with bayonets fixed in an attempt to kill or to destroy the howitzer and all its defenders nearby up close. I'm not unwilling to do so. So, we have a lot of infantry just swarming in right now. We'll have to see if we have enough for a full-scale assault. And we will commandeer it. We will commandeer it with a, with a military katana, a kaishunto in hand. I owned a kaishunto once, did you know? I bought it on eBay for like $2,000 like eight years ago. Not eight years ago, but like five years ago or something. And I spent all my money on it and it was fucking cool. I, I, cut, a, I cut an orange on a live stream with it. See, that's me being me. Now I want to buy a, uh, a dry-aging fridge for, uh, for meat and cheese. But anyway. Okay, the Japanese are they're trying to cross. They're, 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 While well, they're making an honest attempt here. I think the Japanese commander, some commander at least that's higher ranking than I, has, has uh, cut, the, the, cut the light tank feed. Uh, I see four... Five, six, seven destroyed here. And I suppose there's another six back here. We got one there. And we have another, you know, uh, one, two, three, four. I mean, like 15, probably a total of at least a, at least a dozen tanks destroyed. So that's crazy. That's crazy what a few light howitzers could do. All right, I think it's time, guys. I think it's time. I'm calling Banzai. All right, guys. Supreme Commander. That's me. This, this, we might. Should we wait for an, another artillery barrage? I think, I think the artillery command is going to to send one more in. Okay, but let's actually let's let's capture the trench then first. We, that is our biggest chance of. Putting up a good firefight against the the French. No commander, stay in the trench. It's also putting us at a pretty close range with the defenders on the wall, but I think I think we're better off in the trench than the guys on the wall. It's if we can hit them or stay in the trench itself. Ah, we'll be fine. We'll wait for more reinforcements. We've got a lot of manpower to spare. We're the bloody Imperial Japanese Empire. Wait. <laughs> I'd say we're the Imperial Japanese Army because the Imperial Japanese Empire is saying, like, the Empire Japanese Empire, in a way. Imperial is just a different sort of twist on Empire. It means it's the same thing. Moving up on the road here. There's a lot of French defenders on the wall. Enrico, are you alive? I bet he is. Let's let's look at his total uh, kill count right now. 
61? Get out of here. How? Oh, my God. How has he, like, almost doubled it? By now, I'm sure he's doubled it. Since we sent him onto the wall, the Japanese have barely been in his range. Okay, well, this, this, this part is clear. All right. Japanese, let's get... Let's get it. Why can't I crew the gun? Well, we can shoot it, but why can't I crew it? Well, that's new. You got a really interesting look on, on life here, buddy, but... Okay. I don't think that is going to do it. No, let's... let's. They have such inner hate towards the French material here that they're not... They, they refuse to, to use it against the enemy. All they'll do is destroy it. Materially destroy it. It just seems the Japanese or the, the French on the on the Citadel wall are so superior. I knew we shouldn't have sent Enrico up there. Enrico is going to blow the whole operation. Enrico is going to get everyone killed. He already has, so far. I don't think he plans on stopping. Okay, but now they're so sort of... Now they're getting in here on their own, so I'm not forcing them into the trench. This could be considered a, b a bit of waste, but also I think they would have died any other way anyway, so... I'm not going to take the blame for those casualties, okay? That's what... That's what us high-ranking military commanders do. We just do not take blame. It's on the enemy. They did it. I mean, they were the ones who killed it. So, if I enabled it... I shouldn't take any- I shouldn't have any blame for it, right? It's their choice. I mean, they- They didn't have to shoot him. You know? Right. We got a brave officer. I like how Japanese officers are way more braver than any other officers in, like, any other nation. They're also... <laughs> I think he was on his way back to tell the guys, like... Yeah, they're still up there. He was the kind of push-around officers that all these men with group pressure could ask. Can you move up? Check it out with your binoculars. Come back then later and uh, we'll talk about it. That That's who he was and that's who he'll be remembered by. And that's unfortunate. Okay, so there's a mad Japanese dude in a tank here. Are you alive, good sir? Can I- can I have a chat with one of you? No. He refuses to be commanded. I'm sure he's alive. I'm positive. Uh, because his engine's still kind of on. I mean, he might be cooking up some- 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 some tea or something, but... He's a fucking madman. Screaming loud as hell over the comms. Okay, maybe our- the trick is to secure the right flank as well. And, I mean, really get some manpower in here. Alright, no, that is, that's a, it's a beautiful view, but there's no one on the other side of the pond. I will, I'm urging you, I'm urging you to move up now. Yeah, let's secure the right side. I think that's a good way to get onto the enemy's flank. So we'll move up in some, we'll move up some squads this way. I like being in command of the troops too. You know, I miss being in command of the troops. I really do. There's a sense of enjoyment, enjoyment in, you share their, you share, you share their pain. You sh this is a cool screenshot. I mean, it's not super cool. I mean, I'd edit it a little more if I could. But I'd say it's cool enough. These things are hovering. I don't usually like hovering objects, so... Not unless it's Star Wars, then it's typically, typically okay. But otherwise, I'm pretty much against it. Right, so French numbers do not seem to dwindle. But we want to storm that wall when there's still French soldiers on it for some epic hand-to-hand -hand combat. But I still need to have Japanese manpower. I still need troops under my command in order to make that happen. Okay. And so far, not so good. There's there's two hits here. French might just hold the they might just hold it. I can't, I can't get them to storm anymore now. Um, shit. 
the, the front the, the the shit we might just get ourselves a, a, a full-on second city siege for that wall we'll see if the this might be there might be a part two to this all right guys let's get into that trench it's it's cool looking and all let's go that's nice why are we unable to hit them We're trying, but we're unable. Okay, we're pushing down the center now. My gut is turning. I, I, I'm getting, I'm getting anxious, guys. I'm getting a little anxious about this right now. I'm getting super anxious. Why we're not the French are still holding and Enrico is probably pushing a hundred right now No, nah, we can't st with this many rifles. We need to kill we need to get rid of that gun first of all Can it could anyone hit them from below? I think so. All right shooting contest a bottle of the greatest sake To whoever whatever marksman can nail that gunner One of them at least two of them Come on. There, now we're looking at it. Now we're talking, guys. Really give it your all. Okay. That gun is having an awful hard time just targeting anything. Oh, that officer had time to shoot his sidearm because that's how close they got. Oh, uh, we're not... We're not doing it. You hear that silence? That sounds like a French fucking victory. But not for long. There's more Japanese troops coming in as well. There's plenty. But it got awfully quiet here. Quite quickly. That sounds scary. Well, the battle isn't over yet. I told you this was going to be a long one. Well, I just want to mass like 30 guys. Push them to the wall and then take it. Maybe the left side would work. Okay, we got we gotta try. We can't. We we gotta try once. Okay, and if it fails, it fails. But we gotta try. Okay. I'm gonna no no. I'm gonna gather a lot of troops here on the left side. Okay, run 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 left now. Everyone at the same time will reduce the the risk of being killed. We gotta try this. We gotta we just gotta try it. Come on! Oh, we got an officer up there. Move, dude! Move! You made it, man. You made it. You're like at the sh you're at the shingle. Oh fuck. Now that's troublesome. We if we walk up on the sidewalk, we can't walk down it unless we head all the way back. I'd say that's quite troublesome. Get a move on you lot. Come on. There's a good deal of you here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Machine gun cover. Machine gun cover. Come on. Don't run out of stamina now. Don't run out of stamina. Now. Go, 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 go. Oh my fucking god! Okay, we got one officer up here. Oh, <laughs> get fucking dinks, mate. Okay. God damn it. Sir, the attack was inefficient. Where this is literally the 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 fucking the tail of the two towers or whatever it's called. Oh, Lord of the Rings and the the two towers. Oh my god, it's like Helm's Deep. We're rushing Yurikais up at the wall and the, look at the look how many front look how many Japanese we lost here. That's a good 30. That's a platoon. Not to mention the rest of the battlefield. It's all Jesus. The, the, uh, okay, before Enrico dies, let's get one more refresh on, on kill count. 82. His friends here, 46. This artillery piece, 41. And the riflemen are even up into like Almost double numbers. You know, it turns out it's the machine gunners that are really dangerous. These guys are just around four, five, six kills. So it's the machine gunners. It's Enrico. We moved Enrico. And therefore... There... That... Whoever that is really needs to chill the hell out. Okay, Enrico. You've been promoted again. We're getting you off of that hell... That godforsaken wall. I know it's painful up there. And that other machine gunner, you can stay. You were there before. But Enrico, we're going to promote you to the rear, the, the furthest rear trench. 
that's a, that's an oxymoron, isn't it? The furthest rear trench. <laughs> yeah. We're going at the slowest speed. No, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Never mind. That was not the same. I was trying to make a, an example. We're going at the slowest high speed. Like what? We, we promoted you to the lowest high rank. We uh, promoted you to the high rank. That's kind of an oxymoron in a way. But anyway, enough. Let's get to the wall. That's what we're going to do, and we're gonna well bl bloody well do it. Okay, we're getting. I'm bringing everyone now. It's the the problem is when they stop sort of mid track to do something else. That's really frustrating. Machine gunner, can you just? Oh. I'm trying to micromanage their footsteps so that they avoid being hit by the fire. It's not so effective. Okay, we're, come on, you guys will pull through. This squad is going to make it. I can feel that. Double tap it again, come on. Go, 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 go. No, don't fucking stop just because your fucking squad leader dies, you fucking moron. Come on! Just because the, the... There we go. Okay, we got two people up here. Okay, nice. Two guys. Can they be joined by a brave squad here? Will this be... This might be the breaking squad. Breaking squad. Oh my god, the French are throwing hand grenades! No! These ladders can't even be used because they've been destroyed. Go, go, go. We'll see how this looks. Okay, we're, we're, at least we're going to get on that freaking wall. Hey. No, you, you. Get a hand grenade up there. Yeah, that went great. You can't even throw it at a higher angle. Oh my god. Well, it kind of worked, and I think that might be a tactic. Can I keep you alive here for, for future hand grenade throwing? Oh, you're, you're out of grenades. Oh, let's... Andy, let's, let's just steal. I'm, I'm playing this game like it's the actual game right now. Alright, we'll keep you there. This is this has turned awfully uncinematic over the last uh, couple, couple of seconds. So the center approach was by far the least... The least, uh, the least deadly one? The least perilous? Okay, so we need some distractions here on the, the right side. So we'll use four or five men for that. This time, I swear to... I swear to whatever power there is above me, if there is any, I will... I will... I'll use my higher power above these little tiny AI soldiers. They all have names, isn't it cute? Yeah, your squad leader dies, you continue moving, okay? Do we need to have, like, the, the, the Russian soldiers at Stalingrad with big fucking gramophones? If your friend gets shot in front of you, do not stop. That was probably my the worst Russian accent I've done ever, because I'm pretty good at dialects and shit. But that was, that was like some weird, uh, more like uh, some mix of uh, Russian and uh, Turkish. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, the command is feeding us men. They're telling us, use them. And I kind of do. I kind of want to. So let's just maybe wait a little longer. I'm not sure if we're... I think we're pushing like 30 minutes on this one right now. I wouldn't be surprised. And I can promise you, we're going to run out of manpower. But so far, we're still getting it. Maybe now is the time to use this guy again. We've saved Enrico. He's killed 82 men. The the, the repairing of those freaking tanks hardly worked. I think we're okay to do a little bit of this. That might be the best grenade. No, of course not. Why would it? Fucking assholes. Can we use that ladder? No, because we destroyed it now with a hand grenade. We can use... The, we can use the one in the center. We can't even multi, we can't even multi rush them. Ah, okay, that sucks, and that's kind of unrealistic that a tiny grenade on the ground would just destroy the ladder. So, I'm just gonna do this, and we're gonna have some more ladders to use because otherwise the, the, it's going to be entirely impossible. This is an historical battle. Can you tell how historically accurate all of this is? Can you tell how vital it is that we reach an historical outcome right now because of how fucking historically accurate this is? Listen, once again, you keep running. I will split you into individual squads of like one person if that is going to make you a smarter smarter fighting fighting force. See, now we're going. Now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. Yes, I know you're taking fire and it's not worth to 
Keep going. I know it hurts. Keep going. Yeah, he died, so you keep going too. Why are the French all suddenly so much more accurate? We bring Enrico down the wall, and the rest of the soldiers are like, Yeah, let's, let's pick up the pace now. We actually gotta care. Enrico's down. Fucking comic book, man. Holy fuck. This 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 is my least child friendly video in terms of language. But if you you should be if you complain about swearing, you shouldn't be watching this, bro. And I, you're probably not old enough to be called bro anyway if you're complaining about it. Or if you think the swearing it's the swearing is just rage, okay? And it's who I am right now, rage. I am rage right now. Cuz no approach seems to work. And the French are just overpowered. Their precisions are so good. Look at their tiny little heads sticking up. Or I think the Japanese have just started sucking now without the uh, without the armor support. And as soon as we bring Enrico down the wall, it's even more impossible to get men up. Okay, I see more Japanese troops arriving. Okay, so let's give it a rest. Okay, um, let's give it a rest. We'll we'll. Um, Wow, but this might have to be a second video later on with with us storming the wall if we do it. I think this will be a separate battle, and then we'll let's see what happens. Yeah, hey, look at you, look at you two. Come on. Wow, maybe their green uniforms made them invisible. Not now when they yeah run in the green, run in the green and you're good. Okay, we got two troops up here. That's great. I'm gonna keep keep you in hold hold position as well. Right, we're gathering a small team here at the shingle. Get to the shingle, guys. All right. Maybe the slow advance here is just what we need. Okay, maybe we're I think we're starting to finally kill some soldiers, and maybe we can get them all when they reload. I'm not sure. There just seems to be a lot of troops moving up now. All right, this is a good start. I don't need to do any more direct, uh, any controlling right now. It just seems like the Japanese are so inaccurate compared to the, the French. But now we're down to they're down to three soldiers on this wall. I think that's a good good decrease. Oh, they've lost two so they've lost the machine gunner as well. So they have three four riflemen over here. All right, guys, that that to me is a signal. That is the signal. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I bet you guys are going to be like betting from like 15 minutes previously from this point. Did they? Will they storm the wall or not? I bet there's a bet going on right now, like a live bet on fucking bet 365. As this video is just fucking going live right now. There we go. Now we're getting there. Finally, I think this is cool though. The struggle is. I like a struggle. The struggle makes the the wick, vic, the victory. I'm turning Polish. Meanwhile, here, okay, it makes the victory more rewarding. Okay, let's go. All right, boys, let's do it. Let's. Fucking do it. We're storming right now. Let's get all these troops up the wall. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go Let's go guys Banzai Oh get the machine gun over don't fucking reload Fucking stab him Oh Yes, kick him out. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that was awesome Wow Wow Play the play the Modern Warfare 2 promotion sound right now. Well, how do you miss at that range? Come on, dude. It looked like he was like, look, he he like flinched. Like, oh, you hit me in my freaking fucking leg or something. My calf. Yeah, look at the fucking. Wow. More swear. I've got enough swear words in this video now because of this the whole this whole battle. I'm I'm good for like the rest of the year. Because, uh, I find swearing awfully, uh, I don't know, 
pointless in general, which is why I try and never do it, like, especially not in my own language, because it's like the words in in other la in another language it becomes more of just an expression in a way. But um, yeah, it's like what's going on? You know what I mean? Like why? The words your words have that little weight anyway, so that's why you gotta. And infuse it with bad language to, to make it sound more important. Alright, let's get these boys up. Let's go for the far side here. We're sending the crack team, which is the surviving uh, officer and soldier. We're sending the crack team. Is oh, that officer is using his little ruby or whatever. Pis pistol. Oh, this is cool. Now we're getting some boys. No, I do not allow you to do that. Come on. How did you fail? You're you're about to die. You are so about to die. The the fucking I will first person this. Look! I'm staring into a gun right now. Okay. You need to be saved. Gun crew is still active. Okay, so we can't cross here. There's that's we can. So why in the hell couldn't you just do that previously? What what was your issue now? Okay. Uh, understanding idiots and how to like conversate with them. I think we're getting there right now. Right, that I, I saw that coming, especially since we got Enrico down here. That's 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 bound to happen. Okay, these guys are a little frozen. They're they're on free move. They just I don't think they know how to treat this situation. I think you're gonna have to rush that guy. There we go. Nice. Yeah, sorry for breaking more and more immersion, but by the end of the day, we need to get everyone up on the wall anyway. And that's kind that's kind of the deal. Maybe now we are at the advantage here. Yes. Except we can't shoot for shit. Are the French that much better? Really? Okay. Well, now we've got peace to do this. The walls have been entirely... Should we break down, like, the main, a main entrance or something? If we had a tank, we could run it down. Um, I don't think we can do that now. I think this is, like, one of the last waves we're getting, and I'm not joking. And we, we we might need another five. Okay, well, just come here and stay down. We need to mass numbers. Where are we get being shot from? So we need to, like, mass numbers up on the wall like this to get as much firepower there as possible and just then, like... No! What the fuck? No, get on that wall. Are we killing anyone? Have we cost any French casualties so far? What is with the accuracy of these Japanese soldiers right now? Is all you can do stab them up close and scream, literally? Because it feels like it. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if what we have does not win this battle, if we don't... If there's four men in this trench. I'm not over-exaggerating. There's not 28 machine guns. There's four riflemen. Leftover riflemen that I probably couldn't put anywhere else. I've never seen such fucking shit-poor accuracy in my entire life. Wow. This is rare. Alright, you know what? I got an idea. But it means we gotta go down this side street. And there's there's still French soldiers literally, like, everywhere here. So, might it might not be a great idea, but it might just be a better idea than, than, than going down that way. We have an alternative, and that is to, as I said, storm down this way. We'll send, like, we'll send a dozen soldiers there. And I'm, I'm just not comfortable sending more men up this way because they're, they're all getting killed look we've lost as many on the wall now as we've lost down here almost and that 
is not a great feeling because guess what the wall was meant to be a much better place than down in the trench as proven earlier but no the french seem to be miraculously there everyone here this must be like french foreign legion or something because these guys are so ridiculously ridiculously battle hardened hard hardened hardened i'm not sure if battle hardened the french foreign legion was prior to to this war but anyway Oh, come on, shouldn't these guys be veterans from, like, the war in, uh, the, the frickin' Marco Polo Bridge in incident and everything? Like, what's going on? Use your pistol, mate. Main? Main? Do I gotta aim it for you, bro? Oh my god. Alright, there we go. Look at this. First-person shooter. Shoot him up. This is like a, one of those games at a theater where you uh, put a coin in and you get to shoot zombies. And because you've played squad and shit, you, you fucking handle that gun like you're a freaking Navy SEAL team member. I do that all the time. Alright, now we're pushing this way. And I, th I think, what are these guys firing at? Are there Japanese soldiers alive up here? I don't think so. All right, we can rush them. Oh, no. One French grenade. How many does... Oh, my God. Talk about... <laughs> he was like... He picked it up, but it was warm. A, a French soldier had kept it in his kettle pot prior to throwing it. So it was super hot. So he could... <laughs> he just dropped it as he tried picking it up. I don't know what language that is. Must be some, like... Freaking ancient Sami or something. Yo! Is that guy made of sand? Because he's not dying. I feel like the sandbags, they have an invisible layer on top of them. So they're the, the soldiers are completely, like, indestructible. My friends, I think we've reached the point of absolute extinction. There seems to be no more Japanese troops entering the battlefield. Which means that probably thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands have died. Which is, I, I hate to say it, but that's, this is like worth a screenshot, this just here. Because this summarizes the battlefield. And the French flag is still hanging. Let's take a look at casualties. Shall we? Should we? Should we? We'll have the, the French in red and the Japanese in yellow. <sighs> Jesus. The French held Hanoi. With very small numbers compared to the Japanese. And they're still holding it. Guys, would you want a separate battle for this citadel? This, like, where we where we put more ladders up, we fill the walls with more soldiers and guns, and then we cut the map to, like, here, and we add just storms of Japanese trips. Oh, look. The last two. Canones. Or whatever they said. Cano canones. Canones. Yashimasta. She had no man. They're getting up that ladder. Oop. He's panic firing down onto the trench from his hip. This his friend fell down the wall. So that's a good excuse. Hey, let's utilize No! Literally, such a poor timed reload. Every time. Okay, I got a plan. I got a plan for our crack team. Not anymore. How did the machine gunner survive all that th thing? Okay, look. Let's do it. Is this the last survivor? No, wait, there's a few. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I wanted you to do. But if we can turn... No. No. Did you really? No. What did you do? What did you do? Get on the gun, bro. Are you serious? Shinobu? Shinobu? Ipitusai? Ipitusai? Mr. Shinobu? Are you serious? Shinobu? SHINOBU! <laughs> we have a few men remaining, and I wonder, who are these guys? Oh! Where have you guys been hiding, huh? I don't... I don't take... I don't take kindly to this kind of treason. Tadaki and... Takakatsu? We're, we're, we're really, we're, we're, this is going to go dry. Mago Bay? Ki? 
You too, man. Been checking out them crates for a fucking long ass time, man. Come on, don't make me direct control you out of this. You're gonna be moonwalking out of here if that's what it takes. I don't know how you got yourself into that. There we go. Sometimes I just don't know how. They live a they live a life of their own. And it's miraculous. It's beautiful. So it's also juvenile. Okay, worst. Oh, we have an officer. It's of course it's Tomichi Isaya, the man who's hasn't killed anyone. Has we have got anyone here that's got a kill yet? Yes, Takakatsu has got one kill. So he's he's he can die now. There will be no medals or anything, but he can die because he's he's paid for his his uh, his life with a cash with an enemy casualty. The rest none. And I would say for the majority of people here, zero. There simply aren't hasn't been enough French soldiers left after the artillery barrage, which, mind you, has killed the most, along with the tanks, for these soldiers to be all granted a passage into paradise. Like, okay, on you go. The last, the last team, and they're on free mode, so they, they can do what they want. Let's see how they handle this delicate situation. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna have to move in. I know if... <laughs> Wow. Okay, let's try the left ladder then, okay? Are you less inclined now? Can you at least get the Japanese... Did anyone bring a portable Japanese flag? A small one? No. Always last, dude. Why, man? Why so coward? Okay, now at least now they can't jump down. So now they can do what they want to do. He fell down the stairs. Officer's hugging the wall. Wait, he's gonna die. He's gonna go up with his man. Okay, they're discussing the situation. What do we do about this? All right, he needs a spotter at this range. <laughs> it's almost impossible for a, one of these Japanese riflemen to actually kill the enemy. So he needs a spotter next to him for like what a 50 meter shot. Guys, that's the end of this battle. There are absolutely no more Japanese troops. We've probably lost 500. <laughs> The French have, I don't know, lost more, like 80, maybe 60, 80 out here. Damn. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Do you want to see a Citadel siege later so we can kind of get some kind of historical outcome? Let me know, and I'll do it. Until next time, you guys, enjoy. Ciao.